Alright folks, it's Andy here and thanks for joining me in another one. So we're done at the bushcraft camp. Rusty's just skulking about over there in the bushes and that. So yeah, that's us moved up to Scotland now. We came up the weekend of the 27th at the end of July there. Uh, we're more or less unpacked now. There's a few boxes lying about but we're waiting on some furniture to arrive. So once that's arrived and I've got it all built and put in place and whatnot, then we can unpack those last, last few boxes and then that'll be us sorted. Yeah, everyone's more or less settled. The kids, they've started their, their various clubs and that that we've booked them into. Uh, they'll, they'll start back at school towards the end of July, I think around the 20th, uh, August, sorry, I think around the 20th. And then next week they're going on holiday with their grandparents in the camper van uh, up in the north of Scotland. Uh, the wife starts her new job next week, and I've got a bit more leave to go yet before I head back down south. And then, um, yeah, do it my last few months. And that'll be me done then. I'll be moving back up to Scotland sort of November the 8th uh, permanently. So looking forward to that. Get a few more a few more trips down here before I have to go back down south again. But yeah, it's a bit overcast today. There's no real rain forecast, so there's a few um, like light showers and that that's threatened, but other than that, that's it. But I'll get the tarp up now so it's up just in case for that. And then get myself some firewood together. Right, so I figure while I'm chilling out, I'll quickly go through the contents of my pack. Bits and pieces I brought with me. So as a standard, I all have my first aid kit with me. Uh, various bits and pieces in it for, you know, cuts, burns, uh, small breakages like fingers and whatnot. Uh, and also antihistamine type stuff, painkillers, anti-inflammatories, antidiuretics, all that sort of good stuff. I've got these metal rods here and also my outdoor research grill. I'm going to fashion some sort of platform above the fire to cook my food on. This big pouch on the front, it, it would have my water canteen in it and also my titanium mug. And there's a little pouch on the front of it and I've got a chew stick with Rusty in there and also my, st uh, my steak for dinner. The top pouch of this, this pack here on the outside I've got my little thermometer, silver thermometer with the compass. To be honest, it's more just for the thermometer, fair thermometer even. But the compass, it all comes on one little setup. But yeah, and the top's out. Is that pouch here? I've got um, some waterproof things for the camera so I can use it out in the rain. So 
I've got some corn on the cob because that's going to be for dinner later. A little bit of butter to go on that. I've got the the rack for night time when I want to put the night light and the microphone on the camera. Toilet kit. Got my fire rod there, and I'm getting the fire going later. And also my little foraging pouch. Try and find some dry type material to make a tinder bundle with. If not, it'll be further sticks. I've got this shirt here, along with this hoodie, and this will be warm kit if it does get a bit chilly later on. Rusty's bowl, his water bowl slash food bowl, just folds out like that. It's nice and compact because when you fold it up, it sits flat like a desk in your bag. I'll put a bit of water in that and a bit for rust. My jute twine in case I need to make anything or fix anything around camp. I've got my little alcohol stove in this pouch here for uh, tomorrow morning for breakfast. I won't be having a fire going tomorrow morning. Uh, the wife's going to visit a friend tomorrow, so I need to be home by 11-ish. At the very, at the very, yeah, latest, be home by 11. So I'll probably get waking up early doors with the, how early it's going to get daylight anyway. And all the bird song, I'm sure. And then, uh, yeah, I'll get heading back up that hill and back to the car. But for breakfast, I've got boiled eggs and a brew. So that's what the alcohol stores for. Got my Wells Lamont gloves for walking around the fire. Some snacks for me. Some more snacks for me. Tin of lemon honey tea bags. Possible pouch with various bits and pieces, head torch and other bits and whatnot. Got Rusty's food here. Here's my two eggs for tomorrow morning's breakfast. I've got my homemade pillowcase here. I'll just fill with clothes that I'm not going to wear to bed and then use that as a pillow. And then this is the jacket to the Gorka 4 suit. I'll show this on its own a bit closer up, but yeah. So this is part of my sleeping system for my top half. Then these are the trousers. So that's the other half of the sleeping system. Rusty's bed. Rusty's blanket. And then my Gore-Tex bivvy bag. And that's it for tonight mate, eh? That's it for tonight.
Ooh, that was sweaty work that was. I think the pile of wood's even bigger than when I was back here in April. Or it could just be some of the bits were quite thick. Probably just only within the reach of the actual the silky gum boy itself. In terms of the wood it could cut through easily enough. But that'll see me through the night, one, well not through the night, but it'll see me up until sort of bedtime. I'll start getting the fire going about five o'clock-ish. And then start cooking dinner about six. And get settled in for the evening. So I got a bit carried away there off camera. Um, I found this big sort of flattish uh, rock here, so I decided to take the original the original front rock off and then put it here on the side, it's a bit higher and a bit flatter so it affords more space in here for the actual fire and then yeah, this big flat rock here I put onto the front instead um, so this is the cooking setup I've actually put a couple of Y pieces on either side of the fire because I'm thinking I could be able to use it as a spit and cook you know, chicken and whatnot on it but for now I've got a stick going across and then these two metal rods and I'm going to set my grill on top of there with my steak and my corn and the cobs on them. And uh, yeah, should do us nicely. Right folks, that's all the fire prep done. So I've got some kindling here. I've got my split kindling, like sort of thumb thick, and then my sort of bigger kindling here, which is probably like an inch thick, give or take. And then obviously fuel over here. So yeah, time's getting on, so I'm not gonna bother messing about with feather sticks tonight. I'm just gonna use the flint and steel with the, um, the grass that I foraged last time I was out before coming back up to Scotland. So, get into my possibles pouch. So I've got my cooks off, I'll drink my brew out of. I'm going to get a brew on the go once I've got the fire going, because I'm parched for a hot drink. Got my char tin, it should be full to be honest. Yeah, full to the brim. Flint and steel kit. And this bit here is taken. Bundle of grass. Have it in there. So that's starting to burn out. We'll just add another chunk into there. Help it along.
So this is the steak, it's a nice rump steak. I'm just going to let it heat up next to the fire for a bit before I put it on top of the grill. Right, time to get the steak on. I've got some corn on the cob to go on too. Well, that's all the food finished. I just had some of those uh, rice snack things with the uh, mint chocolate on them. That's a real nice. I kept two for breakfast tomorrow. I've got a bar of chocolate as well, but I'll keep that for a bit later on in the evening. But yeah, I'm uh, I'm a bit pooped to be honest. Pretty tired. It's just at that time of the evening now where it's time to just be quiet, lie there and just enjoy the atmosphere.
Morning folks. It's a wee bit chilly on the hands this morning. I just checked with a thermometer in my bag, it's 9 degrees. I'd love to say I got the best night's sleep last night, but I didn't to be honest. I was I was up a few times a night because I was I was really quite cold. I don't know what temperatures it dropped down to, I didn't check my thermometer, I couldn't be bothered, but yeah, the Gorka 4 suit that I was using as my sleeping system, combined with the, the bivy bag, it just wasn't keeping me warm enough. I'm guessing it's a kind of suit that you're supposed to wear when you're... I mean, it's rated down to minus 5, but I'm guessing it's one of those kind of suits you're supposed to wear when, yeah, it's minus 5, but you're still sort of active during that type of weather, rather than just being, you know, asleep. Um, I mean, right now I'm warm. I've been up and about, pottering around the area for 10-15 minutes. But yeah, through the night, it was it was, <laughs> it was hard going. I mean, I was up till about midnight anyway, watching the last bits of the wood burn. And I must have fallen asleep because there's a couple of chunks here that haven't properly burned. And then must have gone out. But I think I'll get breakfast on now, a couple of boiled eggs and some mint chocolate rice cakes. So I'm a bit peckish. So I got some water. So his eggs boiling away, give him about, that's him just started boiling so I'll give him about 7 minutes, that should do it nicely. I'll leave the lid off now. Just packing away all the non-essentials. Right folks, that's us heading off home now. Just like to say thank you for taking the time out of your day to watch. As always I appreciate it. And I guess I'll see you in the next one. Take care.